Hey guys, Nick Bosco here, and I'm doing another interview today with a PFL fighter. Today I'll be talking to Brendan Lochnane, and I'm going to be talking to him about, you know, the laying off of the 2020 season, what he expects to be happening this season, how his training is going, and his, how he's going to be spending his quarantine. So I hope you guys like this interview, and if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. How's uh, quarantine going so far? Yeah, not bad at all. I'm enjoying it, actually. Getting close to the fight. How are you feeling? How has training been up to the point where you had to quarantine? Good. Everything's gone good. I've had a great camp. I'm really, really excited to perform in this fight now. I can't wait to get out of quarantine and get the final touches together and then get to work. Were you in the Middle East? That's what they told me. You were in the Middle East training before this? Yeah, I was in Dubai, um, which was fun, but... Uh, UK closed down. There wasn't many other options, and I ended up having a great camp there. I really enjoyed it. How did you end up there in particular? Uh, a couple of reasons. A couple of my coaches from Thailand all went there. Thailand closed the borders, so I couldn't go there. That's where I usually train for fights. Um, so we kind of just made a little hub there. It was fun. Awesome. Um, obviously, 2020 didn't go the way you wanted it to with PFL having to close down and everything like that. Well, how did you keep your motivation up like throughout the whole year of not being able to fight? I've been through stages of my career where I've not fought for a year before, so I've been through this. Uh, we didn't really have a choice. Um, the whole world had closed down, so it was like, either carry on training or just let yourself fall to the wayside. And with my age and with where I'm at and what's on the line, I just kept focused and it's all going to pay off this year. I mean, you, like most of the other fighters on the roster, were unhappy with the fact that they had to, you know, skip the whole year. And you had mentioned, like, wanting to look for fights elsewhere. How come that never really panned out or did you just decide not to? We tried to get a few. A few fell through last minute. It was really difficult to find a promotion that would put me on um, because at the end of the day they're trying to build their fighters they don't want me coming in and then coming for one fight and, and leaving so that's we had a lot of difficulty trying to find somewhere What did you think when PFL announced that they were going to be having such a long quarantine 17 days? I found it crazy I mean it's just, it's just we're living in a very very strange world now and it's not much I can do or say it's just that I've just got, I kind of got to get on with it like everyone else yeah. Do you have anything planned uh, while you're in the quarantine? Did you bring anything with you to like keep your like self-entertained games, movies, stuff like that? The, the the day seems to be going pretty quick. Like I train in the morning. I get a little. I've got my skipping rope and a few other bits. I do that in the morning, and then I don't know. I kind of enjoy it. It's not bad at all. Are you like completely by yourself right now or are your training partners or coaches or corners coming later or are they there ready? They're here, but they're in a different room. So it's like, I'm pretty much on my own now. So tomorrow morning, not long left now. Right. And then they'll be able to go out and use the facilities, right? Yeah, the facilities look great. Bag work, good, big matted area. I'm excited for them. Awesome. What do you think of your first opponent and um, going forward throughout the whole season? Uh, amazing first opponent a uh, good striker gonna come forward and I think this is really gonna bring the best out in me so um, I'm really looking forward to fighting him for uh, for a number of reasons really I mean the tournament seems to be littered with a lot of wrestlers and it's good that they put two strikers together early and it should make for a great fight when you first came to PFL did you think that the format they have with the point system and everything like suited your um, style uh, yes and no. I've got some decision wins. I've also got some stoppages. Um, but I seem to hit a move and stay out of damage a lot of the time. So I mean, I can get through fights pretty unscathed, and I think that's uh, that's really what's going to matter. Having so many fights over such a short period of time. Do you change up your training camps depending on who you're fighting, or do you kind of just focus on all things all the time? Hmm. Nah, I just, I've got a set routine, i got my sprints, wrestling, I've got everything. I do every single thing for every camp. Do you find that having, like, set times when you're going to fight is better for you? Not just, like, oh, jumping in a short-notice fight or, like, you know, never really knowing for sure when you're going to step in there? Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. That's helped me so much to plan out my year. Like, over the years, 
it's been so sporadic with, oh, you might fight, you might not fight. Now I know I've got the dates, I've got them written down. I can plan my year, I can plan where I'm going to train, I can plan my diet. Everything's so much easier now that I've got it all written down. When this fight's over, do you plan on going back to Dubai or are you going to stay close so that you can be, you know, get back here? Well, I think I've been told by the PFL that I have to stay in the US, so I guess the decision has been made for me on that one. Did you have any idea what you're, where you're going to stay? Like, on what uh, Did you reach out to any gyms around? I'll probably go to San Diego. I've trained at Alliance for a few years in San Diego, so I'll probably just head back over there. That's a nice place to stay if you have to. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> what about for you know the rest of the season? What what do you have in mind? Who do you hope that you're going to fight next, or do you not care? Nah, it don't matter. I mean, with PFL, you just don't know who you're going to fight. Do you? They just ring you up and say it's this guy or it's that guy. You get absolutely no say in no the matter. So bring them all on. Do you think that guys are going to be um, kind of like different with having to be in the quarantine? Like, you know, people, like you said, you have your routine. A lot of people have their routines. Do you think that's going to throw people off? It's only two days. It's only two days. I mean, we're only locked in the room for two days and then we can go out and around. So it's not going to make, it's not made that much of a difference, to be honest. But they have to provide your food, don't they? Like everything's going to be a little bit weird. Yeah, that's true. I mean, my weight's gone up a little. There's my food right now, as a matter of fact. Just be there. You got a letter? One second. There we go, meal delivery, yay! <laughs> nice. Um, you know, not having fight, actual fight experience in the past year, do you think that you have grown in other ways, like maybe your cardio, or you had to work on other things, like, during the year? Um, I mean, I'm a bit of a veteran of the game now. I'm 13 years in the sport. I mean... I've kind of got what I've got now and I just kind of refine the skills that I've got. Yeah, I'll try and add one or two tools, um, but I'm generally the same fighter that I've been. Not much is going to change and uh, it was just about getting fit, really, getting loose and that's that's what I've um, focused on. What about like, um, I don't know how to say it, like, you know when you like can think about how your like, career is going to go or you can picture yourself in a cage, did you do any of that like mental training over the year? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I mean, I've had shaming on my mind now since the day it was announced. It is constantly thinking about sequences in the fight, the way things are going to go. Like, yeah, I've massively thought about this fight. Now you have even more time now that you're in quarantine if you don't have any uh, any video games or anything to play. <laughs> I know what? I'm not turning the TV on. I, I do my training. I, uh, you know, it's audio books, like... I'm not really a TV type of guy or a game or anything like that. So I spend a lot of time on the phone just messing around though. So, I mean, it's been fine. I've enjoyed it. If anything, it's benefited me. Honestly, I've liked it. I've enjoyed this little time alone. Um, okay. I mean, that's all the questions I have. I'll let you get to your lunch. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.